Hello everyone, welcome back to Unite Coaching. So in this video, we are going to talk about some MCQs. So let's start the video. So the first MCQ is Section 21.4a of the MR and TP Act 1966 makes provision for preparation of draft development plans by an officer of the rank of JDTP or DDTP or ADTP instead of a planning authority. Then options are when a planning authority fails to perform its duty within its stipulated time limit, when a planning authority performs its duties within the stipulated time limit, when a planning authority denies performing its duties, or when a planning authority does not want to perform its duty? The answer is option A, that is when a planning authority fails to perform its duty within its stipulated time limit, then who does that uh, preparation of draft? Then it is done by an officer of the rank of JDTP or DDTP or ADTP. So the next MCQ is, it is dash to prepare and publish the draft development plan as per the MRTP Act 1966. It is optional or compulsory or uh, discretionary or depends upon the planning authority. So the answer is, it is compulsory to prepare and publish the draft development plan. The next MCQ is Section 49 and 127 etc. of the MRTP Act are the remedies available with the landowner to force the planning authority primarily to allow to construct the building without permission from the planning authority, permit to sale the land to another person, allow to imp uh, increase the FC, uh, FSI automatically or acquire his or her land. So the answer is acquire his or her land. For permission as per the MRTP Act 1966, any person intending to carry out development on his or her land shall make an application to the Regional Board, State Government, Planning Authority or Development Authority. So the answer is Planning Authority. Application kis ko karna padta hai? To Planning Authority ka karna padta hai. Jab ekhaadi person ko kuch uh, development uh, uske land ka karna hai, tab wo application kis ko karega? To Planning Authority. The fifth MCQ is, as per the right to fair compensation and transparency in land acquisition, Rehabilitation and Resettlement Act 2013, who is empowered to acquire the land for public purposes. Municipal Commissioner, Planning Authority, Tehsildar or District Magistrate. So the answer is District Magistrate. In the land acquisition process, basic compensation is necessarily to be paid for. Land component, the buildings or structures standing on the land, the trees existing on the land or depends upon the site conditions A only or A plus B plus C as the case may be. So the answer is option D. As per the right to fair compensation and transparency in land acquisition, Rehabilitation and Resettlement Act 2013 when carrying out a social impact assessment study whenever the appropriate government intends to acquire land for a public purpose it shall consult it shall consult to the concerned panchayat or municipality or municipal corporation or tehsildar only ya fir district magistrate only or either a or b as the case may be so the answer is option E. As per the right to fair compensation and transparency in land acquisition, Rehabilitation and Resettlement Act 2013, an independent multidisciplinary expert group for the evaluation of social impact assessment report shall include two non-official social scientists 
टू रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ पंचायत ग्राम सभा म्यूनिसिपैलिटी और म्यूनिसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन एज द केस में बी और टू एक्सपर्ट ऑन रिहेबिलिटेशन और ए टेक्निकल एक्सपर्ट इन द सब्जेक्ट रिलेटिंग टू द प्रोजेक्ट सो द आंसर इज ऑप्शन ई दैट इज ऑल ऑफ द अब एज पर द राइट टू फेयर कंपनसेशन एंड ट्रांसपेरेंसी इन लैंड एक्विजिशन रिहेबिलिटेशन एंड रिसेटलमेंट एक्ट टू थाउजेंड एंड थर्टीन इफ एज पर द ओपिनियन ऑफ एक्सपर्ट ग्रुप the project does not serve any public purpose or the social cost and adverse social impacts of the project outweigh the potential benefits then it shall make a recommendation within dash days from the date of its constitution 60 that is 2 months or 30 days that is 1 month or 90 that is 3 months or 15 that is half month so the answer is 60 that is 2 months the last mcq is as per the right to fair compensation and transparency in land acquisition rehabilitation and resettlement act 2013 if as per the opinion of expert group the project will serve any public purpose and the potential benefits outweigh the social cost and adverse social impacts then it shall make a recommendation within dash days from the date of its constitution 60 30 90 or 15 so the answer is 60 that is 2 months so here were the 10 mcqs agar aapko video pasand aaya ho to do like the video and subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching the video thank you